apology. We interrupt this program for WRAL severe weather coverage. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Mays in the WRL Severe Weather Center, along with Kat Campbell. We do have a new tornado warning, the first one of the day to tell you about that has just popped up in Hogue County right now. And you see the wide view of the Doppler radar, and you see numerous severe thunderstorm warnings at the yellow polygons. But the red polygon, that is where the tornado warning is right now. So let's zoom in. And we're talking about Hogue County right now. But the storm is heading toward Harnett County and parts of Cumberland County. And there's the aerial outline of the polygon. Let me stop the time lapse, and we'll zoom in. In fact, let me first take a look at the velocity so you can definitely see a well-defined couplet there there it is and as we zoom into the Rayford area, that's where we're seeing the circulation showing up. Now, we've been following this on the radar for the past 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, it's just moved out of Rayford, heading up 401, and eventually will be making its way up toward Harnett County. As of right now, the storm is moving to the northeast at 60 miles per hour. It's a tornado indicated by radar. There's rotation showing up, so there's no ground truth yet that it's actually on the ground. But there is that potential that it could tighten up and reach the ground. This storm system has a history of producing tornadoes down in Florida earlier today with plenty of damage throughout southeastern Alabama, the Panhandle, Florida. So we have to be aware that some of these tornadoes that we may see this afternoon could do the same here. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit closer and take a look at uh, some of the uh, streets uh, that uh, this rotation is impacting. So near Rayford, we're talking about Highway 401, State Road 1301, Skull Road, Plank Road. If you're in this area, you need to get into your safe shelter immediately, get into the lowest level of your home, Get into a basement if you have one, but an interior room without any windows, a closet without any windows, that would be the most preferable, most structurally sound room, a bathroom as well. So let me widen out the view just a little bit. And since it's moving to the northeast at 60 miles per hour, I'm going to do a storm track to see where this thing is heading. So let's uh, do a storm track moving to the northeast at 60 from this point. And so when we get to... So we're talking about it being in Bones Ford at 345, Hammond Mills 348, uh, Medjin at 348, Cherbourg at 349, Hammond Mills at 349, St. Mary Eglise at 349, Normandy Community 350, uh, the Bataan Community at 351, Pope at 351, and Overhills at 352. So if you're in this area within this red polygon, which does include all of Hope County, the far northwestern part of Cumberland County, including Fort Liberty, Pope Air Force Base, the southwestern part of Harnett County, the system is heading your way. In fact, the last update that came in, the rotation isn't looking quite as broad, quite as tight. If we could take this full screen so you can see a better idea, and I'll zoom in a little bit closer and do a little bit of a time lapse. Thank you. And so we'll go back in time. And you can see how impressive it was looking at 320 this afternoon. You can definitely see the greens butted up the against the reds. The green are the raindrops moving toward the radar site, which is located up toward Clinton. The red are the raindrops moving away. So that's where we clue in on where that rotation is showing up. So as we go through time, you can see how the rotation tightens up a bit and then we get a severe thunderstorm warning issued uh, just for the potential that this could become a tornadic storm. I'm on weather one. 